massage for cooking with Lucia. Now on today's menu I have some I'll be cooking some curry. So I already started putting the seasoning on it. Some seasoning on it. I went in with some special jerk seasoning, a little black pepper, um, a little wet all-purpose, some dried all-purpose too. And um, yet to put in the um, the curry, curry itself. Remember I tell you about the better pack curry. I also went in with a little of this thing here, garam masala. I understand I put in a little of it on it also and um, I don't know if you are hearing some noise it's from next door you know children will be children and so over here I have some pimento see that I will be putting in but I won't be grinding of these over here I have my vegetables I have a yellow and a green sweet pepper also some Irish the Irish are small so I'll be using four. So over here I have my thyme, my garlic, country pepper, onion, carrot, and some scallion. All right. And so I'll continue as I go along. You will see me adding in my um on my goat. All right. You can see I went in with my seasoning, my dried seasoning, and my vegetables, and I combined them in the, with the meat. Right. To marinate all right now um with curry for me you know that curry has to be a little spicy you know just cook curry and cook it flat so, so if you look into my container here you will see the scotch bunny seeds so i deliberately cut some and put some in there because curry for other little thing to it make your tongue kind of dance when you a curry goat you cook or curry goat half a nice or how a jamaican with it well, Caribbean people are not all, especially Jamaicans, we eat spicy foods. You understand? Well, yes, I'm not quite, but we know about me over here. We love our food very spicy. Now, for today's dry some things, I'll be using a coconut. So, as I go along with the procedure of doing up this coconut, you will see how I get my coconut out and everything to cook my rice and peas. I'm not really going to show you the procedure of cooking rice and peas because I showed it before. We use whether coconut powder, coconut cream, the real coconut, we can use it. So I will be showing you as I go along my procedure in preparing, getting done my um, rice and peas today. Also for the curry goat or your curry mutton, let me tell you something. You measure your seasoning today the portion of meat you're using because even with the curry a while ago I didn't just add like two tablespoons I went in and add about four um, to acquire the color that I want you also have to take in consideration using enough vegetables and seasoning to, to season your meat properly or your pot whatever you're cooking make sure it have enough and always ensure that you taste the pot you understand, you cook down the meat, taste it if it tastes good. Now just use the same one, taste if it wants to put this liquor that in it. You understand, ensure that it is done properly. Also, when you do the curry, you have to ensure that the curry is cooked properly in the meat. That's why most of the time persons burn. Sometimes they burn the curry um, from the initial stage in the pot. Or you just drop it in there and let it, you know, spring water and do it in. You understand, and ensure that it cook properly. You understand? Yeah man, I saw we do it, so we like it. I am going to proceed in cutting it up so I can get it to blend. I am not going to grate it. The old days are gone for me. Let me tell you, I used to grate a coconut, my finger will grate that. <laughs> Let me tell you something now. We have come a far away with things, doing things. You understand? So I have a great I'm a nice cream, greater over there, so but I'm not going to grate it. Trust me, I'm not going to it. Because I'm not all about my finger and the day here. These are some of the things that push me away from using the coconut all the time. So I'm not great to have the coconut. I'm not going to cut up my finger when I ox out the coconut because I have gone through all of those things. Yeah. So I'm going to cut it up. And the next thing too, when I kind of stay away from the coconut some of the time, most of the time, is because sometimes when you, you burst the coconut, the coconut will not be good. Sometimes the coconut spoil. You can imagine you have your nice, nice Sunday dinner. Or your nice, nice pot during the week. But for whatever purpose, two pizza, or you have to use a nice, nice coconut. And when you bust it, it's not good. It's rancid. It's rotten. 
tell me how you feel your hard job. Because that happened to me enough time when I come up with me a cook. And some of them, you know, they come in with the coconut powder, coconut powder, I think. Some people say, well, the food now that you have, now that you have, now that you have, now that you have, it will taste good for you can cook. Fire can cook. You think that so fire can cook it with yes good. Girl, you got it going on, I'll be there in a heartbeat. Tell me your favorite song, I'll put it on repeat. I could wait for you forever. Through the storms or any weather. Yeah. You like me. Always do a second squeezing from the coconut. So after I blend it a while ago, I squeeze it first. I get this amount of juice from it, and I want a little bit more. So I'm going to do a second blending. I'm going to add and I add in my pinta beans, these are some pinta beans and I'm going to put in my coconut oil, my coconut oil that I just did onto this and add a little piece of, I'm going to put some garlic in there and a little seasoning, a little of special dried seasoning and allow it to cook about for 15 minutes or so. I've already soaked it overnight. Here guys, you have the coconut milk with the, the peas for the rice and peas so I'm gonna get it um, seasoned Let's put some scallion on pepper scotch bonnet pepper and butter and all of that in there so prepare for the rice all right so done with that and we'll come back to that is when the rice and peas is finished you will see about that pot I have my nice clean Dutch pot so I'm eating up this pot now getting it hot put a little oil inside of it because I'm not going to use a pressure pot today for my curry goat, all right? Now I'm going to do it straight in my Dutch pot. I'm going to I have to use pressure pot, all right? And because too, this curry goat, this goat look like it is soft. You know, look like I have to cook it for a long length of whole day. So I'm going to use it in my Dutch pot on the top of my stove, you know? No pressure pot to the feed, all right? So I went to add Burning my curry, putting my garlic in the oil, smelling real good. I love to use better pop curry. Big up yourself, all who use better pop curry, better pop curry. I use always. Now we're gonna add our food. All right. So we're gonna allow it to stay there, we're gonna cover it and allow it to sweat, sink some water and sweat, you know, and get right into the process of cooking. But remember now we're not gonna use any pressure pot. This is what we're gonna cook it in, alright. I am continuing to let it sweat. If you look in there, you will see. You have the meat sweating. Yes. I'm gonna leave it there for another five minutes or so, and then I'm gonna pour some hot water on it. Hot water. I'm not gonna use any cold water. I'm gonna use some hot water to, to continue with the temperature. You understand? Because I'm gonna throw cold water on it now, it got drop, and then the meat start again slow the cooking process. Alright, so I'm going to use the hot water to carry the cooking process a little faster. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to put some water, hot water. So 
So as I tell you before guys, I wanted to do this um, method today in the pot without the pressure pot. And I'm going to go, let me feel it, see there? Fairly soft already. So I'm going to, next half hour, come back to you. So you know, say, because you uh, know, this, and it's not the pressure pot, it was like the pressure pot now, you know, say, 25 minutes. Not be 25 minutes, 15 minutes when I give it in there, but because uh, I eat my great uh, additional 15 minutes. Look at it. Coming on real nice, bubbling, yeah. This is my finished rice and peas, alright? This is the end. Alright, we're going to bring it up a pan top here. So it finished. So we have a jump over now to our meat. So may I jump in after the 30 minutes I'm gonna tell you guys to see how we're coming on because the climb underestimate this thing, this meat here it looks like it's gonna go a little bit long leaving the bone so it's getting there after those couple of minutes added minutes let us check in and see what is happening yes Coming on really nice. Alright. Yes, good. Can I take a little butter? And because it's a little butter, I can't take because it tastes so it tastes right. Cooking time was roughly one hour twenty minutes there off. You understand because I thought it was much softer. Yeah, and remember now we didn't use any pressure pot, so we allow it to take its time on the stove. So there you have it. There you have it, guys. My curry goat. So please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. All right. See you in my next video. Keep safe.